Hello guys, uh, this is Teacher Elio here again, alright, this is Module 6 class, alright, class number 5, alright, today's topic is about question within sentences, alright, questions within sentences, alright, are you ready? Let's go! Guys, first of all we have to see, uh, we have to understand the topic, right? First, let's see an example. We have a question. The question is, what is the problem? What is the problem? Guys, this question is a direct question, all right? And in direct questions, the verb usually comes right after the question word, okay? So, what is the problem, okay? Let's go on. We have two more examples. The first question is, do you know what the problem is? Do you know what the problem is? Second example. I don't know what the problem is. I don't know what the problem is. Guys, did you notice the difference in the position of the verb to be? Right? Now the verb to be is, is in the end of the sentences, right? Now we have questions within questions or statements, okay? Uh, we can call it uh, indirect questions, all right? So, in this situation, the verb comes later, right? Comes later in the sentence. All right? Let's go on. Let's see some examples now so you can understand. Look, we have a question. The question is, why is she sad? Why is she sad? Right? This is a direct question, okay? The verb to be comes before the subject. Why is she? Why is she sad? And then we have, do you know why she is sad? Do you know why she is sad? So, as we have now an indirect question, okay, the verb to be goes uh, after the subject. So, do you know why she is sad? And, I don't know why she is sad. I don't know why she is sad, right? Pay attention to the examples. Uh, let's go. Where does John live? Where does John live? This is a direct question. Can you remember where John lives? Now we have a indirect question, right? Pay attention to, to the verb lives, right? Uh, in the direct question we have where does John live? And now we have can you remember where John lives, okay? It's like the sentence is in the affirmative form of the simple present. And then we have, I have no idea where John lives. I have no idea where John lives, right? Let's go on. This example we have, which website did you use? Which website did you use? Now we have a, a question in the simple past, right? So pay attention. Here we have the direct question. Let's go to the other examples. Do you know which website you used? Do you know which website you used? Look, now the verb use is in the past, used, and we don't use the, uh, the did anymore, okay? We don't use did anymore. I don't know which website I used, all right? Very good. Let's go on. Where can I charge my phone? Where can I charge my phone? Okay, this is a direct question. Do you know where I can charge my phone? Do you know where I can charge my phone? Right? Look the position. Can and I. Can I? Now we have I can. Again, I don't know where I can charge my phone. One more example. Why is he singing that song? Why is he singing that song? Right? Direct question. Question within a question. Do you know why he is singing that song? Do you know why he is singing that song? Right? And a, and a question within a sentence, right? I don't know why he is singing that song. Okay, look at the position of the verb to be and the pronoun he, okay? Let's go on. Where should we go? Where should we go? Right? Let's go. 
Do you know where we should go? Do you know where we should go? It's like the sentence is in the affirmative form now, right? Pay attention. Should we? Now, we should. I have no idea where we should go, right? I have no idea where we should go. All right, please pay attention now to something important, okay? Guys, if you have yes, no questions, it's necessary to use if, all right? Don't forget, use if, right? Let's check some examples. Uh, now we have the question, is the battery charged? Okay, this question is a yes, no question. Why, teacher? Because when you ask this question, is the battery charged? You are going to respond yes or no. Okay, simple as that. Remember, if we have yes, no questions, use if, right? So, do you know if the battery is charged? Okay, don't forget to use if. I wonder if the battery is charged. I wonder if the battery is charged. Right, let's go on. Is Julia at home? Is Julia at home? Right, this is the direct question. Do you have any idea if Julia is at home? Do you have any idea if Julia is at home? And the last one, I wonder if Julia is at home. I wonder if, right, don't forget it. Okay, let's go on. Are they sick? Direct question. Are they sick? Do you know if they are sick? Do you know if they are sick? Right? We have if and look at the position of the pronoun and the verb to be, right? I wonder if they are sick. I wonder if they are sick, right? Very good. So, let's see again the, uh, the examples, right? Let's see them let's see them again, right? So the direct questions, where does John live? Where can I charge my phone? Why is he singing that song? Where should we go? Is the battery charged? Are they sick, right? Look, the two last questions, they start with the verb to be, right? So they are yes, no questions, okay? Questions within questions, all right? Let's see again the examples. Can you remember where John lives? Do you know where I can charge my phone? Do you know why he's singing that song? Do you know where we should go? Do you know if the battery is charged? Do you know if they are sick? Very good, let's go. Questions within statements, right? Let's go. I have no idea where John lives. I don't know where I can charge my phone. I don't know why he's singing that song. I have no idea where we should go. I wonder if the battery is charged. Okay, look, we used if. I wonder if the battery is charged. I wonder if they are sick, okay? All right, guys, we have some important expressions, okay? You have to remember. Uh, do you know if? Can you remember? Do you have any idea? And I wonder if, okay? Important expressions to use in this topic. Okay, exercise number one, let's see, let's check what you understand, right? Choose the right alternative and complete the sentences. All right, guys, you just have to choose the right alternative. Letter A, I have no idea. Where is it? Where is it? Where it is? Which one is the correct? Where is it? Where is it? Or where it is? The correct one is where it is. Where it is. I have no idea where it is, all right? Look at the position of the pronoun, it, and later the verb to be, right? Letter B, can you remember, can you remember what did she said? What she said? What did she say? Which one is the correct? Hmm? Can you remember what she said? Okay, can you remember what she said? It's a question in the simple past, right? So, the verb goes into the past. Let us see. Do you have any idea where my keys are? Where are my keys? Where are they? Which one is the correct? Per letter C. Letter C is where my keys are. Do you have any idea where my keys are? 
Look at the position of the, the, the noun, keys, and the verb to be are. Exercise two, complete the sentences, all right? Letter A, where is my dog? Where is my dog? Do you have any idea? Okay. Letter B, where can I buy good sneakers? And then we have the expression, can you tell me? Letter C, how can I get to the mall? And then we have the expression, do you know? And letter D, is there a bank around here? I wonder. So letter A, where is my dog? Do you have any idea where my dog is? Do you have any idea where my dog is? Look the position of the noun dog and the verb to be is, where my dog is, right? Remember, this is an indirect question, right? Letter B, where can I buy good sneakers? Can you tell me? Can you tell me where I can buy good sneakers, right? Can I? And now I can. Letter C, how can I get to the mall, right? Do you know how I can get to the mall, right? Can I? I can. Letter D, guys, we have a question that starts with verb to be, so it's a yes, no question, right? So is there a bank around here? Is there a bank around here? I wonder. In yes, no questions we use if, right? So I wonder if there is a bank around here, right? In the question, is there? Now there is, right? Very good, guys, excellent. So, guys, é isso, ok? Não esqueça de acompanhar as redes sociais do Centro de Línguas aí, tá aparecendo na sua tela, ok? Não esqueça também de acessar a plataforma Eduque, ok? Lá você pode encontrar mais atividades e mais tópicos relacionados ao curso de inglês, ok? Obrigado, bye!